All right, so we've got our gesture example here. And just to review, we've got our file, we've got an image on the stage, it's called elevator. And we've got our gesture example.as file. And here uh, we're setting up some gestures. We're listening for rotate and zoom. And we're going to modify the image as we do so. Now, I've got our my device hooked up here. You've already successfully connected your Android phone. You've done some tests. You've got it working. Uh, if you need help with that, just watch some of my other tutorials that talk about debugging and installing on the device, all that good stuff. Okay, click away from the stage here and uh, we're going to go to the application settings. Go ahead and click that. And again, we've walked through this before in other tutorials. Make sure, uh, you know, you're familiar with that. I do want full screen, so make sure that's checked. Uh, and then deployment, remember you've got your own little self-signed certificate. Add your password. Go ahead and click remember. We want to do a device release and install and launch. Very good. Okay, now down here it says publish. I know you can't see it, so go ahead and click publish. Then we're going to look over to the phone. As it's publishing, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four. Oh, there it goes. All right, now look, we've got our image. Now this is, I'm gonna use two hands because I'm looking at my camera upside down. So anyway, the zoom gesture, you'll remember is two touch points moving towards each other and away from each other. Ooh, <gasps> ah, ooh, ah. Okay, then rotate is the same concept where you have two touch points, but they're moving in opposite rotational directions. <laughs> and notice I can get a combination of both. Look at that. Cool, man. Cool. Of course, you can use it with one hand and all that good stuff. Now, have you figured out what's wrong with this image? Well, notice it says four. I'm on the fourth floor, but notice there's only three floors. Uh, I was in this elevator. I took the picture because I thought, how in the world do I get to a fourth floor when there's only three floors? Anyway, isn't that cool? Look at that. That's just awesome. Now, of course, you can use these. Let's look back at the code now. Oh, look at this. What does it say? Uh-oh. It says, warning, warning. Danger, danger, Brent Arnold, danger. Well, the reason it says this uh, is because permissions are required in Android and you really should have permissions set. If I click over here to permissions, notice I don't have anything set here. Uh, you can always kind of do the internet for default. You don't technically, and I don't know this for sure, and I don't know. You might need permissions set somewhere just for the sake of, you know, hey, this is a program. But anyway, it just gives you a warning just so you're aware of it because you don't want to forget. Because when we do the other uh, mobile APIs, you will find that things like camera and geolocation, if you don't have the permission set properly, it'll fail. It won't work. So we're going to make sure we do that. Okay, so that is how it works. Isn't that cool? You can you can apply these gestures. See, rotate and zoom, you know, once these are triggered, you could do all sorts of things. It doesn't have to be this obvious, you know, scaling type thing. You could have it you could figure out some cool zoom gesture for like a game or something. Anyway, just thought you'd like to see it on the device. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at iBrent. Thanks for watching. We'll see ya.